Welcome to Mexico. YouTube. Oh, good morning, YouTube. I am on the Salton Sea. That's pretty cool. That's <laughs> You always get warm. <laughs> That's quite cool though, I must admit. Very cool. I am on the Salton Sea. As you can tell there, nice camp to for at night. So there's some paraglide, is it paraglider? Whatever with a motor on it. I just come up through this, very cool. It took me ages to find a reading camera. But yeah, yeah, that is so, so cool. But uh, yeah, this. This sea, it's called the Salton Sea, I'll turn you around, but it's in California and it used to be a hive of all the people from uh, Hollywood, all the Hollywood stars used to come out to this, this area and it was a, uh, a really, really nice place, but the problem is the sea, it's like an inland lake well it died basically so all the fish uh, there's bits there that I'll show you in a bit but all the fish uh, oh shit just drop the glasses uh, but all the uh, the animals the, the the fish in there it got to saline is it so it killed all the fish basically and it, uh, it it destroyed the ecosystem of the uh, the sea. I'm just making a brew. Come on, we fly. So all the fish died, uh, and I will show you some pictures further up down the beach where these bones, all the bones of the fish, still there. Uh, so there used to be an awful lot of fish, but there's not anymore. No fish anymore. They're all, well, there's a few, but they're all, you can't eat them because they're all poisoned, whatever's left. So, I will have my breakfast. So, nice, nice camp, nice and quiet, really peaceful. A few helicopters flying about before, but, yeah. Pretty cool, so, in a bit.
Hello, good morning YouTube again. I'm still on the seat in Salton Sea. I've just found some tyres, so I've just got to go back up 50 mile where I was yesterday to get some tyres. But, like, oh yeah, let's shoot the propane bulb. <laughs> yeah, that's America for you. But, this is part of the uh, area where I'm at and it was uh, part of some military base thing somewhere over I don't know but as you can see this is the height of the water for a long time so the this bit was sticking out <laughs> Doesn't look dodgy at all, does it? But even more not dodgy is going up the dodgy steps. <coughs> yeah, not more not dodgy. Oh look, I need to clean my solar panels. Oh mucky. But yeah, I don't know what this was actually for. I don't know at all. But a memorial for somebody. But yeah, I, I camped just over there. So, yeah. Pretty nice. There's remains of things buried in the sand. Uh, there's another building over there that I'm going to look at. But uh, yeah, and the sand dunes. But I've got, I'm an hour away from where I need to be. And there's a good looking land over there. So, I might actually use Mexicali uh, border because it's, at the minute, Mexicali borders. 50 miles away from me, but I'm going to have to go 50 miles north, so it's going to be 100 miles. And then uh, the border that I wanted to go at is a bit further, so I might just have a look on the overlander and just see. Yeah, water well, quite deep. And just see uh, what the re results are for that, uh, that border crossing. But yeah. That's pretty cool. Well, let's, do, let's do an in interesting shot round here. Let's see if we can do that. Good, but right, let's go and have a look at. Uh, I bet you I've just walked in that, whatever shite it is. Yeah, I might be lucky. Right, let's go and get some tyres. Well, I'll have a look at this other one, then get some tyres. <coughs> if you have a bit of a structure there, whatever that was, and then. This building here. It shows you it was uh, if the water got right up to here, which it looks as. Yeah, that's quite deep. But you can see all the All the bones. That's of the uh, fishies. The little fishies. And they're not little fishies anymore, they're just 
bits of stuff. It's like, well, somebody's had a fucking a shite in there. Disgusting. I need to dig an hole and bury it. What do you like? What do you like? Well, as you see, lots of bullet holes in it. But, right, let's go on the road and get some tyres. Because these are tired. In a bit. Brown line up there. The other side of that is Mexico. So this is part of uh, Trump's war. I see a bit more of I won't, I won't where I need to be at the minute, but it's uh, the road dips down close to the border. You can just see it a bit there, look. You just see it on, on the skyline there. Welcome to Mexico! Turn left at the traffic light, then take the first right. Turn right at the stop sign. Continue on Avenida Universidad. Oh, they got Mackey D's. YouTube and oh, welcome to Mexico. Well, Baja, California, which is still Mexico. So I arrived at this beach last night. It was about half past six at night. I actually pulled off the tarmac about ten to five, uh, which is about five minutes after it was getting dark. So I come along this gravel road, uh, completely dark, which is safer in the, on the main roads but I'm camped only for tonight because I'm heading further down south but I'm camped here uh, and it's like there's lots of abandoned uh, fishermen's huts but I found across there there's a nice bit of grass and then there's a track down to the river uh, to the river, to the sea. So I could have stayed down there, but yeah, it is what it is, isn't it? Pitch black in it now. There's actually a bit of a, a bit over there. Looks like a skipper a boat. It's a bit more of a flat bit, but alas, couldn't see that in the dark. So we'll go and have a quick one around here. And then old fishermen's cabins, I presume. Uh, 
looks like it. Old caravan. Not so much scratching around in here. Well, it's quite a big caravan actually. Burnt to. So I'm presuming, you see that, that bit there looks like it's uh, fish preparation. And then, <laughs> so much to cook them on. That ain't a bad, bad view. So there's some just at the back over here, so we're going to have a look at them first. So I was actually going to stop here. But I had a, a bit of a wander around. Uh, that bit's a bit, little bit flatter. And little hut. And then... I don't think anybody sleeps. Well, not anymore, but I don't know if they did or not. Presuming not. So they're just like day cabin things or something. It's actually quite soothing to hear all that all night. <coughs> and itself up. Because I'm just camped just at the other side of that mound there. Yeah, I don't think they'll get the boat in here, really. Yeah, you don't want to get trapped down there. That's for sure. But I am heading further south to uh, La Paz. It's 800 miles away. So it's virtually the full length of uh, uh, Baja. So I'm heading down there because I'm going to fly on for Christmas. I think see my daughters. I have to say I've been travelling for nine months. I think it'll be by then. So yeah. it's about time I go home and see my daughters, pick a bit of stuff up see some friends so I'm going to go home for three weeks Fuck it, I'm actually uh, and then surprise my best friend because uh, we normally I spend Christmas at their house in Wales so I'm going to tell his wife but don't tell him so Christmas morning I'm going to knock on his door hi I've come for dinner <laughs> be a nice surprise for him right in that I'll fold up bed a cat on the outside also must have been a bit of a shed thing on here that's that say a ruish obviously So as I'm driving along, I was just camped round the corner, just where that white caravan is there if you can see. And look, <laughs> I spot I think somebody was camped there actually. Because where I saw a light. But yeah, there's quite a few little spots. There's another one there, look. And then the ones that were just that were just at a minute ago. But yeah. 
pretty cool. Yeah, some of them you do need four wheel drive to get to, but just as well. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool.